Maracanã in Belgrade, packed with 55,000 supporters of Savina Zvezda, otherwise known as Red Star Belgrade. It's reminiscent of the great European nights of the early 1990s when Red Star swept to Europe's greatest club prize. Now they meet the might of AC Milan in a qualifying tie for the right to play in this season's Champions League. It's 1-0 to Milan from the first leg in the San Siro. The home side make one change from that first leg before Djokovic comes in for Perovic. Nine of this starting lineup are Serbs, plus the Senegalese centre-back Ibrahima Gaier and the Bulgarian Georgiev. Milan have named an unchanged side despite talk of packing the midfield or even playing a five-man defence. Maldini, Nesta and Kaladza still injured, so the 40-year-old Alessandro Costa-Curta continues at the back. The midfield is a first-choice one. Gilardino will keep Inzaghi company up front. The very fact the Italians finding themselves in such a hostile atmosphere as this, effectively part of their punishment for their part in the Italian corruption scandal. Remember, they were only allowed to enter the Champions League qualifiers after that appeal. An eight-point deduction still awaiting them in Serie A when the season finally gets underway in around two and a half weeks' time. It's Georgie F with an early run at Cafu. Pantic was in there. Really a raucous atmosphere, and Carlo Ancelotti knows his team must be resolute. Inzaghi got the goal in the first half of that first leg in the San Siro. And uh, AC Milan, without the competitive games behind them this season, really struggled later on in that game. The legs were tired. Savina, this is their fifth competitive game of the season and they are up to full match fitness and that is going to be a key factor in this game. They actually didn't have a, a game of the weekend because it was postponed Savina, so um, fresher legs they will hope because of that. Here's Serginho. It's through to Inzaghi buzzing around, lays it off, and the shot is spilled by the keeper, Radjelovic. Had a fine game in the San Siro as Kaká hit that one. But Ranielovic, you thought there, had spilled it and given an early chance to the Italians. They didn't show too much ambition in the first leg, Savina, but uh, obviously the emphasis on them to attack this evening. Pantic feeding Georgie F as a high ball in towards Zigic towering above that Milan defence more than two metres high the Serbian international and he is a key man for the side of Dusan Bejevic just a terrific atmosphere inside the stadium all about keeping it tight early on for Milan it's actually the uh, 1,000th game since uh, Silvio Berlusconi their president took charge of the club 20 years ago and for Berlusconi in Milan European football has always been absolutely critical to them they've won this competition six times and it's hard having to go through the qualifiers for once. Serginho. Seydorf lost out there. And the tackles are flying in. Kovacevic is chasing everything around there at the moment. Here's Cafu looking to slow it down a little bit. A chorus of whistles. The header away from Gaier. Jankovic lost it. Perlo. Every time Milan get it, they're looking to slow it down and take their time. Take the sting out of this Savina team. The 
tackle from Perlo. Costa Curta heads it away. This is Bruno Gattuso. He's going to have a critical part to play this evening. Gaera cross. That's a, a robust challenge. Signed from Samsung Sport over the summer. He's got a one-year contract. Well, we Savina supporters desperate to see Champions League proper football this season here in Belgrade. Carlo Ancelotti knows he's got that eight-point deduction to deal with in Serie A when the season gets underway. It has been such a turbulent summer, not just in Milan, but throughout Italian football. There's the flick from Djokic, but it keeps coming back at the moment for Savina. Milan are defending on halfway and rather pinning the Serbs in their own half. Savina won the League and Cup double last season in Serbia. But as uh, Nikola Zigic, their centre forward, has pointed out, their weakness in this tie is that they only really have a few matches like this a season. And Milan play at this sort of level just about every week. Billy Costa Curta. Serginio, he's seen lots of the ball in lots of space in the early stages. It's rather aimless. He saw the run from Inzaghi. But just overhit it. When Savina won the European Cup back in 1991, they did it on penalties against Marseille. You may remember a deadly dull final after they played some thrilling football to get there. And here they come. It's a real opportunity. The ball across the face of goal that was whipped in there from Milovanovic and no one could get the vital touch. Zigic threw himself with the ball and that is a let off for Milan. Look at the space Milovanovic had. Couldn't find the head of Zigic in there. Oh, it's over the crossbar. Zigic again has a, a scoring record for Savina of a goal. Better than a goal every two games. Not far away here. Osgore makes waves with the Rip Curl Pro. The 20th edition promises more fun, more glamour, more surf. As Eurosport 2 goes beachside. Are you ready to ride? Live from Land in southwest France for the very first time. The Surfing World Championship, Friday morning, live on Eurosport 2. Download exclusive color pictures. Get this image instantly and discover many more. Send the message Euro to the number 82666 if you're in the UK, 7654 in Poland, 72727 in Sweden, and 2011 in Norway. Well, that one opportunity for Zigic, the header over the crossbar, the only real alarm for Milan. That's the back heel from Djokic, but couldn't find the uh, tall frame of his striking partner. Dusan Berbic will um, want his side to rattle Milan as much as possible. But they're looking cool and calm as Perlo hits a long one. Now in. Geladinho has slid over there and he thought he was held. Play goes on. Bo Larsen is the referee this evening, the Danish official. Milovanovic. 
foul by Costa Curta. Definitely caught. A goal now for Savina. Would set this tie beautifully. And here's a shooting opportunity. He's put it wide. Jankovic. Levich knows that he caught Milan, his team caught Milan's defence napping there. Lovely little ball in from Georgia. Rather slashed at it though. Piper Inzaghi. 24 goals in 40 European appearances for AC Milan. This is Basta. He's going to go on a run. Seydorf across. Eugenio there as well. And they've just about come away with the ball, Milan. Costa Carta. And Zaghi running from deep. And the foul on Geladinho. Kovacevic has put himself about in that midfield so far. With the eight-point deduction in Serie A, the Champions League may take on even greater significance for Milan this season, especially if they can't stay with the leaders early on in their domestic competition. Perlo, surely he's not going to hit one from here, he is, you know. 35 metres out. Randielovic with the save, comfortable, even though he's sunk to his knees. Now there's the appeal from Giladinho. There was contact, but he wasn't really tugged back. It was more hand on his back, it seemed to me. Seydorf. So many big European nights he's played in. Well, Giladinho feels he's um, taken a bit of a battering up there so far. He's won the free kick, Perlo. Gattuso loves to run from these positions. They've worked it well. Sergio's ball in, and that was an opportunity. Got underneath it, Inzaghi at the back post. Milan will be pleased with the start they've made in that they've not been pinned back, and they've carved out the odd half chance going forward. Sergio. Oh, just tidy up there. He was caught by Zigic. Reported interest in Zigic from Arsenal and West Ham last season in the English Premier League. And apparently he's already been watched this season in the Champions League games. They played Cork City in the last round, Savina. Watched by uh, the Bolton manager Sam Allardyce and Harry Redknapp of Portsmouth. Perhaps a move to the Premiership coming up. Now in goes the cross. And Inzaghi! And it's the away goal for AC Milan. And Savina will need three to knock out the Italians. He just can't stop scoring in the Champions League. What a career he's had in this competition. All oh, question of offside, possibly. Gattuso with the cross in, it was very tight, the deflection took it onto the head of Inzaghi and he buried the chance.
perhaps a little fortunate with that deflection. It took it straight onto the head of Pippo Inzaghi. Make that 25 goals in 41 European appearances. He's a hitman. Ancelotti's desperate to see his team just get to half time now. And he'll know how their legs went in the first leg in the San Siro. So hard to, to play Champions League qualifiers, which are critical games to these big European sides, to play them so early on in a season before you've started your own home league campaign. Let's say Jankovic's cross. Was there contact there? And Jokic, Jokic thinks so. Or was he being to it in the air fairly? It was a swirling high cross. And I think Cafu got there fairly. Ancelotti has described this uh, match as the crossroad of Milan's season. Cafu even said it would decide the entire season. It's that important, the Champions League, to the Italians this year. And that atmosphere we heard in the opening stages of the game, a little more subdued now. Jankovic. Up. He's made this run from right back unchecked. Eventually, it's Gattuso to get across. Costa Curta away. Kakar, lovely back heel. Didn't see the best always of Kakar at the World Cup but we didn't see the best of Brazil really did we this is a nice stuff from Milan Catuso to Kakar again Kovacevic it's behind Zigic will keep it in did really well in fact now, is there some space in which to work something here? Milovanovic has shot his charge down. How he must be ruining that ball across the face of goal early on in this half when Zigic and Djokic couldn't get the touch. Look at the way Milan is slowing this down now. I think this is what you call experience. Too so, Perlo. Well, it's count the passes. Cafu, he's still got legs even at his age. Not a bad ball in, or oh, rather slashed at the shot, Kaká. Perlo, for once, miscontrols and Jokic. They need to take advantage and break quickly when they get in these situations, Savina. Georgiev. Well, that's neat. Can he get the shot away? Georgiev. Never worrying, Dida. Bayevich can feel it slipping away. Three goals needed for Savina Zvezda.
famous meeting between these sides in 1998 when Fogg saved Milan in a second round tie. Red Star were winning on that occasion through two Dragon Stojkovic goals. Milan were down to 10 men as well when the match had to be abandoned because of the fog. And Milan won the replay and went on to win the cup as well. I remember beating Stau Bucharest in the final on that terrific e evening in the Camp Nou. Four goals to nil when Van Basten and Hullet were in quite magnificent form. Basta. Seydorf has an important defensive role in this uh, Milan team. He was close to Basta there again. Now Keka. He'll take it on and on. And territorial advantage will be crucial to Milan as well as uh, possession in the remaining half of this game. An early goal for Savina Zvezda is absolutely critical in the second half. They've got to get the crowd in this, they've got to get things going again. But at times in that first half, they've not really got close to AC Milan. And Pippo Inzaghi's goal in the 29th minute, the header, possibly a slight hint of offside from Gattuso's cross. But Milan won't care. They lead 1-0. They lead 2-0 on aggregate. This weekend, live on Eurosport 2. All change, they take to the air to land the next match in the Volleyball World Grand Prix. Goals keep on coming, and every one could be crucial in the Women's Under-20 World Championship. And New Haven, last stop on the road to Flushing Meadows, last chance to get it right for the US Open. The Volleyball World Grand Prix, the Women's Under-20 World Championship, and the Sony Ericsson WTA Tour. This weekend, live on Eurosport 2. Eurosport.com and its brand new European football game. Trade in all the European National League teams and win fantastic prizes. If it's live, it's at Eurosport.com. Dragon Stojkovic, now president of Savina Zvezda. And he looks a little subdued, as do the 55,000, the majority inside. This stadium in Belgrade. They trail 1 0 on the night, 2 0 on aggregate, and Milan crucially have the away goal scored by Pippo Inzaghi in the 29th minute. And the second half could be much like the final quarter of an hour of the first half, i.e., Milan slowing it down and Savina struggling to get close to them. Tuso in there. So Pantic will take the throw. Jokic. But there are black shirts swarming around. Pantic will get the cross in. Dida comes for it after the chest off from Costa Curta. Giladinho. Here's Kaká floating around. Now, was he clipped there? Yes, it is a free kick. It looks to be a really good decision from Carlo Ancelotti not to have packed his midfield this evening and keep the shape of the team as it normally is with Kaká free to roam in behind the front two and the solid base behind him of Perlo, Seedorf and Gattuso. Tried one from miles out in the first half. He's not going to shoot from here. He'll cross it in, Perlo. Seedorf in. The flag was up. Giladinho looks and says, what me? Well, there were a couple of players adjacent to him as well, but I think it went up against Giladinho. Let's have another look. Oh, dear, it was tight. And perhaps one of those situations where the linesman decides there are so many... Milan players in on goal that one of them must have been offside 
but none of them were and certainly not the man who was interfering with play Giladinho this is the Croat Simic had an all too brief World Cup now that is uh, quite a theatrical die from Pippo Nzaghi may have been something of a collision with uh, the linesman who was had his flag knocked to the ground Gear came across oh it was actually a nasty jump into the challenge I don't think we can blame that, a collision with the linesman for that one and Gear will receive the yellow card it was the way he jumped into the challenge really rather than for the foul there wasn't really the need for Inzaghi just caught his left leg but it was the roll afterwards from Inzaghi which uh, made us suspect that he actually wasn't very hurt and it wasn't much of a foul if he just lay there it would have looked a lot worse the foul from Gare meters from Andrea Perlo he'll cross it oh and the chest into the arms of the keeper from Zigic back there here is Ibrahim Aguirre again it was easy at the back for Serginio Basta Pisevac this is quite some run Georgiev couldn't find him with the return ball and Bisevac's out of position here. Seydorf, Cafu, oh, knocked into the path. That can't be offside. It's Inzaghi running through. The flag has gone up. Play does go on and Inzaghi slashes it wide. It clearly came off the Savina player and ran through to Inzaghi so he couldn't have been in an offside position. The linesman got that wrong and thankfully Bo Larson realised it was a sideways pass, he couldn't have been offside. And actually, it turned out to be a poor miss from Inzaghi. Seydorf's corner. Guess who at the back to head away? Zigic, towering frame. Seydorf again. 1-2 with Kaká and the save from the legs of Ranjilovic. They're looking classy at times, Milan. They look like a team who deserve to be in the group stages of the Champions League. They clearly have so much more quality than Savina. The clearance from Milovanovic. Dida. Belts it long. Gaillard left. It's untidy. It's scrappy. It's um, just how... Milan would want it really dominating possession Milovanovic's ball for to Zigic that's better from Savina Bastas away now Djokic waits in the middle it's high towards uh, Purovic at the back post but uh, easy for Dida Georgia to Djokic Look at the ease with which Perlo won that back. The Tuso will almost walk it up to the halfway line. Simic close to Jokic there. Did he catch him? No, says Bo Larsen. And towards the head of Sigic, and that was a chance for Jokic. Got under it. 
Remember, Savina need three. And they've hardly like, looked like getting one in this game this evening. And that's one of their better chances for Djokic. Clean connection, just wrong direction. Perlo and Gattuso reunited after their triumph together in the World Cup winners midfield. That's useful towards Inzaghi. I think the flag may have gone up there. Yes, it has. And it was Giladinho who was forward. Here is Inzaghi chasing it down. Zigic, the tall centre forward, is now uh, breaking wide to try and get hold of the ball and get in this game. He's inside the area now. But for a, a defence that is missing the likes of Kaladza and Maldini and Nesta. And remember, Yatstam has gone to Ajax as well. Milan are coping admirably back there. Cafu winning the throw off. Dishivak. is a corner and it's taken short to Gattuso and uh, it is pretty obvious how Milan are going to play the remaining 25 minutes or so of this game slow it down Serginio's ball in it's into the arms of Randjelovic just need to show a bit more urgency here Savina feeling was going into this game that it would be quite some rocky ride for AC Milan but it hasn't really turned out that way the hostile atmosphere only really lasted for the first 20 minutes or so Basta to Zigic the touch off was from Purovic and Zigic couldn't get hold of it has been caught there with a the ball in behind him Giladinho to Seydorf but it breaks down and up to Djokic Djokic again the red and black shirts are back quickly and that is the worst pass of the evening by Kovacevic by some distance. Savina only had to beat you know, the Irish team Cork City to get to this stage in the second qualifying round. Beat them 4-0 on aggregate. But AC Milan, a very different proposition. See Ambrosini there on the uh, Milan bench. He's about to come on. speculation that Ambrosini would start this game in a strengthened midfield just wonder whether Milan might do that now the foul out of uh, Milovanovic and here is Ambrosini and it's uh, Pippo Inzaghi the goal scorer who will come off so it's a midfielder for a striker Milan will hold what they have welcome to New York City Welcome to Flushing Meadows. Are you tough enough to take the heat? 
500 competitors, 600,000 fans, $20 million at stake. Grand Slam Tennis, made in the USA. Showtime, the US Open, Monday from 1745, live on Eurosport and at 2000 on Eurosport 2. With news, results and exclusive videos at Eurosport.com. Football's back as Russia stages the Under-20 Women's World Championship. 16 nations are taking part in this highly anticipated contest. The Under-20 Women's World Championship from August 17th, live on Eurosport and Eurosport 2. Dusan Bevic knows his team are heading out of the Champions League before we get to the group stage of the competition. They need three goals. And here come Milan looking for a second on the Knights. And it's played into Orgeladinho. Got a touch on it but couldn't knock it in towards goal. The uh, angle was very acute in truth once he got to the ball. Will be uh, the UEFA Cup for Savina Zvezda. The draw made on Thursday. To be a force in that competition, they need to show a bit more bite at home than they have done this evening. It's as if the class of Milan has just drawn any sting that was in their tail right from them. Control from Kakar. That was absolutely superb from Dida's pump downfield. Basta. He at least has shown some willingness to run. Rossini, it's a five-man midfield now for Milan with Kakar with more freedom to go forward like he has done in this position. He's got Seidorf bursting forward as well, still Kakar. We might go all the way, what a run from the Brazilian! And Seidorf, and that will do it! A second goal on the night for Milan, a 3-0 lead on aggregate. They are over the horizon and heading for the group stages of the Champions League and after a summer of such turmoil in Italy and at the club of AC Milan they will take that what a run it was from Kaká the move all started with the control he produced from Dida's clearance finish from Seidorf well here comes Savina could be an opportunity here it's Zigic he's got Jokic waiting for it and Jokic scores too little, too late for Savina. He had opportunities earlier in this game that really could have made it interesting had he scored. But now this tie is over. Djokic comes up with a goal. No more than a consolation. 3-1 now on aggregate. Savina have got to score four.
Remember, Milan originally deducted 15 points for their part in the Italian corruption scandal. They lost their European place altogether. So to have got back their Champions League place, albeit in the qualifiers, on appeal, it must feel as if um, they are making progress back from what was a stultifying blow. Whether they can make up eight points on the other Serie A teams, the likes of Inter Milan. Ooh, that was a little bit of a shaky moment for Costa Curta. Who concede the corner as Favalli waits to come on. But as we mentioned earlier, it could well be the Champions League, which is the thing that drives them on this season. Because if certainly if Internazionali start well in Serie A, it's going to be awfully difficult for Milan to keep close to them, starting on minus eight points. I was going to say the old man Cafu makes way, but um, Costa Curta playing inside him is much older. Had another good game at right back. Oh, that went through a crowd from the head of Basta. Milan are happy to just run the clock down here. Giladinho, the man making way. Borelli is on. Cini. Talk of uh, Ronaldo coming to the San Siro. Reports in Spain suggest that some um, negotiations will open with Ronaldo and Real Madrid this week. So when you look at the Milan strike force with Shevchenko gone to Chelsea, they couldn't get Crespo back. They really Shelladinho and Inzaghi as front line what you would call first choice strikers they need some bolstering there and he may have put on a, a few pounds but um the brazilian can still put the ball in the back of the net as he showed during the world cup 30 years of age will cost a penny or two in wages but look out for that in the coming few days ronaldo to ac milan it's a possibility A bit disappointed with Savina's Vesta, really. They've not given it a go. They've not thrown men forward. They've been a little bit too much in awe of AC Milan and their ability to keep the ball. And at no time have Milan looked rattled. It looks such a, a tricky trip, this, on paper, with just the 1-0 lead from the first leg. And perhaps Savina's Vesta are regretting not showing more ambition in the San Siro when uh, Milan's legs were tired through pre-season they hadn't really got their full fitness yet and there was an away goal for the taking there could be another away goal on the night for the taking here for Milan Georgia to Kovacevic. Just not enough quality in the final third. You don't like to see teams hitting constant high balls towards a tall striker, but at over two metres high, Zigic could have been a real threat, especially against the likes of Alessandro costa Curta at 40 years of age. Could he have given them a bit of a battering up there? But we'll not really know, because Savina haven't used that tactic. They've not played to Zigic's strengths. Ah, 
does play some lovely stuff. Here he is again. Clip from behind. This Savina Zvezda team nowhere near a, a patch on that terrific team of the early 1990s that we mentioned that won this competition. Blacks of Prozanecki pulling the strings in the midfield. Pankovic up front. Seydorf. And uh, losing out there was Simic well forward. How easily did Seydorf win that back? Catuso. Can Alessandro Costa to keep going? 40 years of age. He's looked calm and assured this evening. Gattuso just bringing the ball down, and it's not often you see a back pass like that with a a high ball brought down in the centre circle and so easily turned back to a goalkeeper. It's been the consummate away performance from AC Milan when it comes to European football. They've got the goals at crucial times, certainly in Zaghi's header in the first half. Sadif, Sadorf's goal late on killed it completely, but to be perfectly honest, Savina Zvezda haven't shown anything this evening to suggest they could have beaten AC Milan. And the Italians, after the summer of turmoil they've had, go through to the group stages of the Champions League. The draw made on Thursday, Savina into the UEFA Cup. 